Hi and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be cleaning this almost brand new car. So this one is just a few weeks old. It has accumulated a little bit of dirt, particularly on the lower sections and on the wheels, as it has been driven in reasonably bad British summer weather. So a little bit to deal with here, but generally what this video is going to be about is kind of protecting the car and applying some products so that the car can be kept looking as new as possible for as long as possible. So first starting off with the pressure washer and I was able to sort of blast away quite a lot of loose dirt at this stage and get the car looking a lot, lot better for the rest of the pre-wash. Now some of you probably will notice that I'm not using my standard cartridge quick release gun for this that I normally use. The reason is is that I'm not cleaning in my usual location today and I'm borrowing a pressure washer here so I had to kind of make do with the standard attachment which to be honest did alright and I wasn't using foam in this situation so I managed to get away with it without having to sort of change attachments which is what I don't really like about this original fitting. So first moving on to the wheels, now I wanted to pre-wash the wheels as they're quite a delicate diamond cut finish so rather than going in straight away with a mechanical cleaning process I thought it'd be a good idea to use auto foam at 4% panel and Pratt's ratio here, 5 minute dwell time and blast it off to remove anything that couldn't be removed with just the pressure washer. Following this, I wanted to clean the arches and the tyres next as those were probably the dirtiest part of the car. So I sprayed in some Green Star at 10% concentration and I sprayed that on the arches and on the tyres themselves. Now the arches were a little bit of a challenge here. Some of them were carpet and others were plastic. Now carpet wheel arches aren't my favourite to work on here. However, I did manage to get them up to a good standard and being a new car, they weren't in too bad of a state. So once I'd dealt with the arches, it was then time to move on to the tyres. So I just topped up that spray of the 10% Green Star all purpose cleaner and sprayed a bit onto this into desailing brush and gave them a good scrub down. So you can see that this product does foam up pretty nicely and luckily the tyres weren't horrendously dirty so I got away with two passes on these tyres as they weren't in too bad condition. Once I'd dealt with the tyres and the arches I then wanted to of course move on to the alloys. So here I'm using a wheel cleaner and this is one by Squid Ink. Now it's one that you can dilute quite a lot so here I'm actually using it at 10% concentration. Makes it a very economical product to use and it's one that they sent me a little while ago and was really enjoying using so thought it'd be a good one to try again here. So I worked that in using a chenille microfiber wash mitt to start with and that has a little bit of shampoo in it from the bucket which is decon shampoo that I'll talk about a bit later. And then the wheels are a reasonably intricate design not the most complicated but there were some areas where the mitt couldn't reach so for those I did use a soft brush So I kind of prefer to get the bulk off with a mitt and then to move on to the brushes. I feel like the mitt is slightly safer to, to get the majority of the dirt off and also the brush does end up sort of aching after a while in my hands so I don't like using it quite as often as using the mitt. Once I've cleaned the alloy faces I then moved on to cleaning the barrels. Now, now this car actually had brake disc guards so it was really difficult to reach in there. So I had to use the quite narrow brush from SGCB UK which is a microfiber one so it's quite safe but does take a little bit more time just due to the size of it. Once that was done I could give them a blast down and then I moved back onto the paintwork. So to start with the pre-wash on the paintwork I used that mix of autofoam again. Now this is a 4% panel impact ratio, so it is just essentially 4% in this IK sprayer. So I've really been quite enjoying giving this IK sprayer a go and I find it really, really enjoyable. It's quite therapeutic to apply, it's quite satisfying and it's miles, miles easier than using a trigger spray. So I went over the entire car using this product, then left it to dwell for around four to five minutes before power washing it away to remove as much of that traffic film as possible. So 
So just a quick reminder, if you are enjoying the video so far, it'd be fantastic if you could give it a like. It really does help to support the channel, get the video to more people, and also show me kind of what videos you like as well. So after power washing the car down and doing that pre-wash stage, I of course moved on to the contact wash. So for this, I'm using Garage Therapy Decon Shampoo, just to kind of reset the paintwork. There wasn't any protection on there, but it would give it as deep a clean as possible before applying protection. So I went for around 30 ml of product in around a 20 litre bucket, as I find that this is an economical ratio, but also one that provides really good slickness and cleaning ability as well. So I went over the car top to bottom, before then using a brush on some of the more intricate areas. And you can see here really how well this product actually foams up. It has really good stability as well, so it's not one where you have to keep sort of spraying your pressure washer in the bucket to revive the suds. It just lasts throughout the entire wash, so it's a really, really great product to use and one that I use quite often. So once I've cleaned all the panels, I then went in with a soft brush. So this is one by GB Detailing, and then worked it around some of the badges and some of the more difficult to reach areas on the car. Of course, wanted to make sure that this car was squeaky clean before applying any protection and due to the level of dirt at the start of the process, I could tell that there was definitely going to be some kind of ingrained dirt in these areas. Now I also wanted to apply some glass protection to this car, so I prepped this first by using a clay bar. So this is Built Hamber's Soft Clay and I just used that Garage Therapy Decon Shampoo as a lubricant for that. So then I moved on to a chemical decon process, so I did just use Iron Fallout Remover here. And this is the Pyramid Car Care Iron Fallout Remover. It's quite a thick gel-like consistency, which does give it the benefit of a good cling time, but makes it a little bit harder to kind of spread across the panel. There wasn't too much to sort of see here in terms of reaction. A little bit on the wheels, but nothing to really write home about. Being quite a new car, there wasn't too much on there. Now, I didn't clay this car, and some of you are probably wondering why. Now, I inspected the paintwork, and it was probably the best looking paintwork I've ever seen. So I don't think that the dealership had wrecked it because it really, really was in good condition. So now what I didn't want to do is clay the car when it didn't really need claying and then have to go and polish the car and remove a bit of clear coat to, to correct that. So here I just did a sort of liquid decon process as I found that that was enough to get the paintwork in a good position to apply the sealant, but without inflicting any unnecessary damage here. So I also, before I wanted to dry the car, applied a little bit of protection to the alloys. So for this, I used a spray and rinse sealant and this is Bouncer's Bead Juice. So it's gonna help to keep the car a little bit cleaner and stop as much brake dust building up on those alloys. Now, to make sure that there wasn't any residue left from that fallout remover, I then just went over the car quickly with the decon shampoo and gave it a rinse down before moving on to the drying stage. So to dry the car, I use this twisted loop drying towel and you can see here I'm kind of patting the car dry. So I primed it on the windows, so it's a little bit damp, but then I pat it dry just because I find that swiping it might be a little bit less safe and patting it is sort of the safest way in my opinion to dry the vehicle. So next moving on to the way that I prepped the glass. So here I use Tax Systems Water Spot Remover. Now I'm a big fan of this one because essentially kind of for me at least removes the need for polishing now of course polishing the glass before applying the sealant or coating is sort of the correct method in a way to use but i find that i get just as good results from using this particularly when the car isn't horrendously dirty or particularly old as well so i sprayed that on and worked it over before then using a panel wipe solution just to remove any residue that that left behind so that there was a good surface to apply that coating and sealant to So 
So I worked in this panel wipe solution, the G-Technic one, until it had flashed off completely. So for the windscreen and the rear window, I used the Pyramid Car Care Glass Coating. Now this is a very, very durable one and it's the one that I actually have on my windscreen at the moment. I've had it on there for six months and noticed basically no dip in performance. So I'm confident that this is the best product I have to at least to protect this car. I always like applying some kind of protection to the glass because I find that it's something that the owners really, really notice and it helps make driving safer in my opinion when the water sort of beads off the windscreen a lot more easily. So for this particular coating, you apply it using a crosshatch pattern with the applicator that they provide. Then you can level the product after around 15 seconds and then just buff it off immediately. So it's such a really quick and simple product to use. Very enjoyable and it's one of those where it's so easy that you think it might not work. But yeah, the results I've had with this have been fantastic so far. Then on the side windows, I applied Angel Wax H2 Go. And the reason that I did this is because the side windows don't get quite as much of a battering as the front and rear window, as they both have wipers. So I find that this one's more than durable for side windows and it's gonna last probably as long as the front and the rear windscreen. So I applied this just using an applicator pad, a microfiber one, and then around 10 minutes later that had hazed over completely and I buffed it off using a microfiber towel. So I do have a video comparing different glass sealants and I'll pop a link to that in the description because I think it's quite an interesting one if you're looking to purchase any glass protection in the near future. Once the glass had been sorted, it was time to move back onto the paintwork. So for this, I used Garage Therapy 3 Ceramic Sealant. So I actually put a vote up on my Instagram story as to which protection products I should use and this won pretty much overwhelmingly. So I of course went with a public vote and thought that this would be really, really good product to use as well. So for this one, I used a Rag Company microfiber block applicator to apply the product. Then you wait around 60 seconds before levelling it using a microfiber towel, so a low pile one works best for this. And then I normally wait around 30 to 60 seconds longer before buffing the product off. Again, using a short pile microfiber towel, as I find that this is best in terms of removal of the product in comparison to your more plusher kind of towels. So when you apply this product, you really do notice how slick it feels and you can definitely tell when it's been removed because yeah, the, the paintwork feels really, really slick and it also leaves a really, really great amount of gloss behind. What's kind of cool about this product is you can look at the car a few hours later and it actually looks even glossier than when you applied it. So the owner was absolutely ecstatic with how this car looked at the end of it. So I was really, really pleased with that. And this product, when you apply sort of two layers, which I did here, normally it lasts around six months. So hopefully we'll get a good level of durability out of this. It's quite a satisfying product to apply, particularly when I use a microfiber block applicator. You can use a towel to apply this, that's perfectly fine. However, I find that the applicator is a little bit easier to get even coverage and just generally a little bit more fun to use, which sounds a little bit strange now I'm saying it. But yeah, it is an enjoyable process and really nice sealant to actually work with. So the final product here is Garage Therapy Tire Serum. Now it's a pretty obvious choice what I was going to use to actually dress these tyres. This is a product that's not really just about dressing but about conditioning the rubber. And again, like the rest of the process here, it's been about keeping the car looking as new as possible for as long as possible. And I think this is the best product to do that. It has really, really good water repellency and the durability tends to sort of surpass other ones that I've tried because it is just a little bit of a different type of product and it leaves such a nice finish that the tyres just look brand new. So here you can see the finished results and I was really, really happy with how this one turned out. Great levels of gloss, the tyres looked fantastic and the owner was really, really pleased, which was the main thing. 
So thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to drop it a like if you have enjoyed it and comment down below if you've got any questions about the process or the products. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.